Patricia was the head of documentaries in, at France Television for 16 years, successively for different channels, and then at the end across all the documentaries. And so, and Patricia has been uh, credited with bringing uh, co-production to French documentaries and also with some very notable events, like uh, particularly perhaps the Apocalypse program, which was about the Second World War with remastered archive. So Patricia, I thought I'd begin by saying, as you've been there for 16 years, what changes have you seen to documentary production in France over that time? Um, hello. Does it work? It doesn't work. <laughs> yes, it, it does. Can you hear me? No? OK, I'll try. Um, I would say, you know, 16 years is a lot, of course. And uh, in terms of... Uh, documentary policy, it was more than a, an evolution. It was really a mutation, a revolution. When I arrived, you know, uh, the documentaries were broadcast very late in the evening, often after midnight. So um, the visibility of documentaries changed a lot. We create prime time slot. We create uh, a various diversity of slots on every channel. When I, when I left, two days ago, <laughs> uh, France Television, uh, we had uh, around 1,000 docu new documentaries a year on France Television. That means uh, around 65% uh, of the market share in France. So it was really uh, a great change. And uh, the other change is the, the kind of documentaries we produced during all this time. We, I think we, I mean, I participated to this policy. We try to have uh, any kind of uh, documentaries, from docudrama to investigative documentaries to scientific documentaries, so that we could, um, we could have documentaries for prime time, big documentaries uh, that we had never before. Uh, as you know, docudrama like uh, The Species Odyssey on France 3 was the big, biggest audience on France 3 they never had before. So for the, for, the, for the genre, it was also something very new. And the people in charge of France Television realized documentaries could be a strategic genre and could be on prime time and could be, you know, for big audience. So um, the image of documentaries changed also. And uh, these recent years, where you had some kind of a, um, uh, how do you say that when you, uh, uh, polls, polls? Polls, yes, polls, opinion polls. Opinion polls. And uh, usually they said that documentary was the favorite genre, you know, among other genres. So really, I think it was a complete revolution for, for documentary. I was very lucky. Small achievement, I was very lucky, you know. I, we became, it was a praise story of documentaries, and now I think it's kind of golden age, really. And you, interestingly, have now, two days ago, stopped that and uh, <laughs> set up your own indie. So what's that like, sort of looking at it from the other side of the fence? Well, it's, uh, it's kind of a, you know, like you jump from a plane with a sort of parachute. But of course, I think uh, uh, it's a big parachute with a, a lot of uh, airbags around, you know, because I'm, of course, I'm very lucky. I'm, uh, this, all this experience I have uh, will be helpful, of course, because uh, I know everybody, uh, all the commissioning editors, I know the talents. So I'm optimistic, but at the same time, I'm realistic, and I know it's very difficult. I think it, I, it's a very hard market, very competitive. So I have to, to work hard, you know? I know that. But for those of us who don't have your inside knowledge of the French television yeah. system or your connections, could you just take us through the sort of, so who are the key channels um, at, in French television? Who are the key players in France and who are their audiences and, mm. and what might they be looking for? Well, for documentary in France, um, it's very concentrated. The, the market is, uh, I said 65%, 70% in France television. Then you have Arte and you have Canal Plus. That's all. For the moment, the commercial channel don't produce any documentaries. 
uh, except Canal Plus and Planet, these other, other small channels. So uh, if you want to, to attract these kind of big channels, I think the first thing uh, is uh, to, you know, big channels are looking, are keen on events. So if you have a, a large audience project who can make a buzz, very interesting buzz, you know, for channels, uh, on the topics that can be, you know, history, science, international topics, could be also social topics, but it's more harder, I think. Um, well, I think you are, you know, you, you would be welcome if you have all that. But of course it's difficult because when I say large audience uh, for events, uh, for, uh, for France television, that means millions of people. So maybe between three and five million people. It's difficult to find the, the, the subjects, of course. Uh, I think you have also um, kind of an um, um, anniversary can be a good thing, you know? Right big anniversary like uh, Titanic in uh, 2012, uh, of course 9-11, uh, these kind of topics, all the channels, all the big channels are always looking for, it's, uh, it's uh, helpful. Um, I would say that if you have something which is very original in the treatment, it can be also an advantage for you. Um, uh, what can I say? For example, of course, docudrama at the beginning was uh, very, very new, so every, every channel, uh, we're looking for that. Today, for example, we are looking for also the, the technological breakthrough, like, uh, um, I don't know, 3D films. Uh, we, we are looking at these kind of films, of course. Is there a difference between different channels in terms of the demographic and, yeah. and the audience needs? and? Uh, well, uh, on, in France Television, the three main channels, France 2, France 3, and France 5, they all have the same very old public. But of course, it's not an aim. If you can reduce the average, you know, of this uh, public, it's better. And usually the documentaries have a, uh, an average uh, public less, uh, I mean, around 40 to, to, to 60. Whereas, uh, so a lower age group watch the yeah, documentaries and lower, the rest of television. Lower age, exactly. Uh, there is a channel on France Television which is um, for young people, which is France 4. Uh, sh this channel is making documentaries now. It's, uh, it's new, but uh, maybe not many international documentaries, but some, some kind of. So you, you can try, of course. Um, for example, there was something about the apocalypse, you know, futuristic, futuristic documentaries. Um, and that's for, for the public, that's all, I mean. Uh, and in terms of budgets, I mean, it, it's said that France seems to be a, rather awash with money when the rest of the uh, broadcasting community is suffering from cutbacks. Yeah, we, we, we have an advantage in France, is the, the producers are very strong. So they obtained uh, a sort of a big agreement with France Television, which obliged France Television to increase regularly, year after year, the budget invested in documentaries. So it's true that uh, we, for the moment, we have a, a budget uh, for the whole group uh, of uh, around 84 million euros per year it will be more than 90 million per year uh, next year. So you see every year it goes up, mm. which is not the same in every country. Um, of course, the budget is different if you're working for a big channel like France 2, uh, or if you're working for France 4, the little, the little channel. It's different also if you're working for a prime time or if you, if, and if you're working for other slots. I would say that on prime time, if you have a big, uh, interesting project, uh, the budget will be um, between 500,000 euros and 1 million and, f and, and maybe more, 1 million and a half uh, euros. But that are big things, like a docudrama or right. like a, a big archive film, you know, with a 
color, you say colorization? Yes, well, kind we, of, we uh, must you know, have that. Which is, uh, of course, very expensive. And um, the, on the other channels, on the France 5, for example, the average budget for a 52 minutes, I mean, for, for France, the, what I, it was 90 minutes. You know, mm -hmm. prime time in France, it's 90 minutes or two times 52. Um, the average uh, budget for a one hour film on other slots, on France 5, it's more like 90, 90,000 euros. Right, so it's quite and a lot less. And on France 2, it's more like 130,000 euros. That's for a one hour. But I was interested, you were saying earlier that, it's, uh, that although there are opportunities for international independent producers, it's actually quite tough because the community, the production community in France is very strong. Yeah, uh, they are very strong and uh, there is no indoors production, as you know, so it's a real uh, policy to, to help producers, uh, independent producers. Of course, they always want more than they have, that's normal, and I will do the same now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think uh, if you compare the uh, situation of uh, French producers and uh, other countries, I think it's a really it's a nice period, really. So, as I said, you were, you were, were very instrumental in, in bringing co-productions yeah. to, to documentary in France. Can you talk a bit about that? What, what was successful? What genres worked well? What didn't work so well? Well, we, we opened to co-production in the year just before 2000, you know, with this big series of BBC working with dinosaurs, working with Beast. France Television, we were really co-producers. That means we were working with BBC from the beginning on the scenario. And then um, we produced our own, you know, uh, big docudrama. So we try to attract uh, international co-productions instead of uh, going to BBC. With BBC, it's always very difficult, you know, it's always one, it's not, uh, it's only one way uh, uh, difficult to, to have co-production for BBC, as you know. But, you know, we try and sometimes it works. Um, I would say that uh, we, we had a um, co-production like, for example, in, a, in with Rich Dale, uh, many co Richard Dale, Richard dangerous. Dale, dangerous film, we had this historical film like D-Day, and then we have a Titanic film with him for next year. Um, we have also um, a big event uh, with Dallas Smithson, like uh, Anne Frank series uh, that we co-produced, for example. Uh, but also we had uh, with Dallas Smithson kind of films like uh, on the tsunami, you know, he made a film with uh, um, uh, home, home footage have you seen this film? Yes, yes. It was People's a very footage. moving film about uh, personal footages, uh, archive and interviews about this uh, dramatic uh, um, event. Uh, the same, uh, not with Dallas Mason, we had also a, a film with, uh, on 9-11 made of uh, own footage, on home footage. Um, with um, France 5 also is looking for, uh, you know, co-productions. Uh, good stories, of course. I opened a, a collection of films about uh, foreign um, human stories. Uh, but of course it has to be universal, you know, moving stories, and it works as well as French stories. Uh, so if you have this kind of big, big topics, big, big stories, don't hesitate to go to France 5. Um, France 5 is looking for Discovery, nature film, you know, wildlife. Um, some co-production worked very well on France 5. It was uh, mostly the best audience about planets. Don't remember exactly the, the title of the film, but you know. Uh, so we we are open to many kind of uh, topics and many kind of uh, foreign films. So if you look at the sort of um, I say we, I shouldn't say we. I mean, <laughs> say they now. They now. If you look at the sort of trends in international documentary making now, mm. what would you identify as the, as the interesting trends there? And, and how do they play in France? Is France in step with them? I would say um, 
these uh, previous years, we had, uh, of course, we, we still had a lot of, uh, as I said, historical films or science international films that works. There is a new field that was uh, also uh, more developed these years. It's environment and green documentaries. Um, I, I, uh, recently, we had a festival in, in France with international films, and the, 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 the big prize, was, the award was to a, a Swedish film about um, uh, a young uh, a tox toxic waste. How yes. do you say? Toxic mm. waste. Uh, very moving inquiries about uh, toxic waste that was sent to Chile. Um, and create dramatic situation in Chile. So this kind of film, which of course are in sort of a resonance, you know, in echo with the international situation, where are are, uh, are demanded, are you know, um, uh, what kind of uh, other? What about of course, the, I was just going to say, what about the whole sort of format, move towards formatting? Yeah. Because you talk about the French uh, industry, be, I mean. Traditionally, the French have a very strong sort of authored mm -hmm. tradition, don't they? Does that, yeah, how do they deal French, with French documentary, formats? French documentary is, the tradition of French documentary is uh, cinema, more than, more than journalism, you know, like in, uh, in uh, Anglo-Saxon countries. And it's true that we, are, we were more uh, author-oriented during all this year. And I think it's... Uh, it's important to have these kind of uh, filmmakers, you know? So, so we have to be very vigilant, say, vigilant. vigilant to, to maintain this, uh, um, these author films. But at the same time, of course, television is very competitive. And as you know, everywhere on the planet, the channels are looking for sort of rendezvous, you know, in a, in a program planning, you have rendezvous and uh, you have to, to make the public um, uh, faithful, how do you say, stable, yes, you know, yes. from, uh, from a week to another week. So loyalty, formats, want loyal yeah. to your channel. So uh, in spite of having slots with uh, uh, one-shot films, uh, in everywhere in the planet they have formats, which means six hour uh, on the same, you know, uh, mechanism, same, same way of uh, making the film, same author. Um, and uh, real TV, of course, is uh, using these formats a lot. So I think f this is one way for, for more entertaining documentaries to develop. I'm not against that. I just say it's good if, besides, you have also other film, you know? Uh, but why not? And I think there is a new tendency in France also because French te France television didn't make any real TV during the last years and it changed with a new president that opened this new window, you know? So I think there is a, maybe a, a chance for, a, I would say, you know, clever formats or intelligent formats uh, that can give information more than just entertain just for entertaining. And does it work with the French audience, that sort of mixed genre um, filmmaking, that, those sort of different types of new documentary? Well, I think it, will, it depends on, on, on the, the way they're done, you know. They, for example, we have a it's kind of format called Rendez-vous en terre inconnue, which is a discovery format. Uh, um, the, the host is taking celebrities very far away in a sort of a you know, remote uh, place uh, where people live in a very different way. And this, they, they, they make two or three uh, rendezvous en terre inconnue per year, so it's kind of format, and it's the best score, the best audience of all programs on France 2 last year. So it can be a very, very large audience, of course. Um, but it depends on the formats. You can also have formats which are less, uh, you know, successful. But that's a French format, or was that something that was imported it from was, elsewhere? No, it was totally French right, as well. Right. But for example, we try with uh, "Who do you think you are," mm -hmm. and uh, it wasn't uh, as successful in uh, than in England as in England. So, 
I think it's, uh, it's uh, interesting to, to work on that. I, I will, I mean, as a producer, I will try to, to, to work uh, on this new, you know, kind of television, yeah. Um, is, are there any questions from the audience now for Patricia? I can't see you. I can't see you either. Mm -hmm. There, the lady there. You say you mean? Um, well, my new, my very first project will be for uh, France 2. Uh, it is, you know, next year there is a big anniversary, which is the end of uh, the Algerian War, which was a, a French colony, as you know. So it's the fifth, 50th anniversary of the end of this war. So I'm going to do like Apocalypse. Apocalypse, maybe you, know, you don't know, Apocalypse uh, by uh, Daniel Costel and Isabel Clark was the best audience in uh, 2009. On the year, that means more than any film, more than any sports event, more than any American series. It was a documentary, Apocalypse. It was, in fact, three weeks, uh, during three weeks, and the, the score uh, increased Everywhere. every week uh, until 9 million people. The other second score was also a documentary this year. It was Home. Maybe you know Home. You, Home was a, uh, it's a green documentary from Jan Arthus Bertrand. Who is, who, she's a sort of specialist of uh, environment. And um, it was also incredible. 9 million people. Can you imagine that? I mean, so uh, to come back to your question, I'm, I'm not sure, of course, with Algerian war to, to, to be so successful, but I think it's important for our country to have a, a film, a big film about this war that was not really, I mean, never really um, freely um, explored. Uh, explored. Like yeah. that you intend to we, do we have a lot of uh, taboo with this war, you know, in France. Uh, France is a peculiar country with uh, history. So I think it's the time to do that. And uh, I, I do it with uh, Patrick Rotman, who is a very good filmmaker. Is it mainly historical documentaries that you're going to be looking at from now on? For what? what? Are you mainly going to concentrate on historical documentaries? No, 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 of course not. I would like also to, to develop a kind of nature film also, of course. Um, I would like to develop um, any kind, so social issues also, you know? The, the, I think it's important. Of course, it's less international, but... Uh, and um, uh, I also, I'm also very interested by civilization and uh, ancient history films, docudrama. I think uh, docudrama was uh, very, you know, fashion, uh, la, I would say, five years ago. Yes and BBC made a lot of films, we did also. We continue to do so, and, and it's uh, more and, I think it's better and better, uh, because it's not fiction. It's very difficult to be, BBC had problems because they went towards fiction too much, you know, and pub the public was a bit disappointed. So we have to be very vigilant with the frontier between the two genres. It's certainly gone out of fashion slightly, or it, there is a slightly rockier road with docudrama in Britain. Yeah. You're saying in France it's been completely accepted throughout, has it? Yeah, exactly. At the beginning it was difficult, and uh, now people like that, really. So I think we have to, to continue on this. Now it's a real genre, you know. So I would like to, to do that also. And, um, well, I, w I would like to do magazines also, you know, magazines. Any more, another question from the floor? Ah, oh, thank you. I'll stop shouting. Um, you're obviously very used to receiving pitches and treatments that are fairly well developed in your previous role at uh, uh, France Television. Now that you're a producer, um, you're going to be spotting ideas and stories and choosing things that are much less developed. What's your personal strategy for deciding what to pursue as your next passion, the next project you take forward? You mean to, how to, to write it, to, to present it? 
Well, no, just, just about how to choose it. I guess when you were in your role at France, you were, you were looking at very developed proposals, whereas now you're sort of looking at the very kernels of ideas. Yeah. What, what's your you strategy? Know, I think that the, the most important in this uh, job is to find talents. It's not only topics, it's talents. So I think uh, I will spend a lot of time uh, trying to make the good marriage between a topic and a director. You know, uh, the, that, that's maybe that's the most important to to get the right team for the right uh, film. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of topics, I, I will really uh, I don't want to have uh, inhibitions. I will be interested in a lot of things. Uh, I have passion, you know, for that. That's the the the, the genre documentary is fantastic for that. That you can you can be interested in history and then. Uh, go to science and then uh, to investigation and uh, you see, I will do all that. I'll try. Any more questions? I'm interested in whether you think that the, um, that the, the fact that um, there are so many formats, means that, in a sense, you find that there are less television programs which are really sensitive to national issues. And, I mean, do, do you think that's a trend, and do you think that's something that's a, a bad thing or a good thing? I think that's, that's you're right. Uh, the problem is, uh, I, I, I feel that televisions are coming back to national programs, in a way because of course national programs are more attractive, they think it's more attractive for the public, for their audience. Uh, but at the same time, they, are, they don't want to take risk, so they are buying formats that have been a success outside, you know, more and more. So there is a, a threat maybe on big co-production projects, you know, when you think really together a project, and I, I would, I, I hope, I'm, I mean, I hope it will not, it will, it won't be that. But uh, uh, um, I think it's important that producers uh, really in, try to 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 work hard on having good project that can be universal. For formats, uh, as you know, you you buy the concept and you adapt it. You have a. a your host, you have uh, your own people, you know, uh, uh, that are shot in a national uh, formats. So it's, uh, it's another way of working. It's interesting also, you, you work on the, on, on the mechanism on, on the, more than on the content. Any more questions from the floor? Well, Patricia, thank you very much thank indeed you. for being here. Thank, thank you. you.